Hey guys, what's up? It's David here from the Collectibles Channel. Um, today we're just uh, going to be looking at um, Australian uh, strippances and sixpences. Um, I started to to start my collection on those now, so I'll show you what I've got so far and um, and how how it's going. Okay, um, the first one we've got is um, I'll explain up. The 1910 is Edward the Seventh. Um, that contains 92.5% silver, but I, I don't have one of those. Uh, then the next series is the um, George V. That that went uh, from 1911 to 1936, and they can uh, they contain 92 92 2.5% silver. Here I've got a um, one from 1917, which is a 92.5% silver. Uh, I've got one here from a uh, 1919. Is, um very good condition very fine I should say and then I've got a 1927 uh, and a 1936 one it's a nice condition too then from 1938 to 1944, George VI, um, they were 92.5% um, silver. It's 1943. It's 1944. Excellent condition. And then from 1947 to 1952, still the George VI. Um, they were only 50% silver. It's a 48 one. 48 crash. It reminds me of the song by Susie Quattro. 48 crash back from the 70s. Um, it's a 1949. Sorry about my singing. The 1950. That one is um, it's like it's nearly uncirculated. That one. There's a 51. That's a 52. They're from 1953 to 1964. They were just fifty percent silver. So fifty-five. That's a uh, fifty-six. So fifty-seven. So. 58. Maybe you can see those years. Okay. Uh, this one's a 59. It's virtually uncirculated, this one. Lovely. The Queen Elizabeth II on the back of those, if I, if I didn't mention it earlier. She's still going strong. Okay, it's a 61. It's virtually uncirculated. That's a bit of dirt there that's on, on the outside. Okay, 62. In nice condition, too. And a 63. The year I was born. Okay, that's um, the thrippance is done. Now we have a quick look um, at the shillings. Oh, I've got a, a 64 one here, which I haven't, that only just come in the mail. It's uh, virtually uncirculated. I have to find a card for that. Okay, now we have a look at the 
um, shillings. These are exactly the same as the trippins. This is the same reins and same metal composition. So I just quickly go through the years. That's a uh, uh, sorry, these are the sixpences. Um, I think I said shillings, I meant sixpences. Um, this is a 1914. That's a 1919. That's a 1925. So, no, it's 1938. It's in nice condition. That's a 42. That's a 45. That's a 46. That's a 48. It's a 1950. I've got to try and get as close as possible to complete the whole, all the years uh, to make complete year sets of them. I started on um, uh, shillings and florins as well, so that's going to take me a bit lo longer, so because uh, they're more expensive. Uh, but some of the sixpences are expensive too. That's a 54 one. Okay, it's a 55, but then again, it all depends on what grade, you, grade you're aiming for. I sort of average, aiming for sort of average, so average good to fine in my budget. It's a 56. Maybe when I win lotto, I'll go for uncirculated. Okay, 58. That's pretty close to, um, extremely fine, this one. That's a 59. This is a 1960. 1961. If you're first time to this channel, welcome. And um, if you like this video, video at the end and find it of some interest, if you can give us a thumbs up and maybe subscribe, that'll make me happy. This is a 62. This is a 63. That's a very nice condition too. And a 64. That's a million circulator, that one. Okay, that's it for today's video. I really appreciate your time in tuning in and um, uh, watching my video. Uh, like I said, um, if, you, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. It's up to you. Uh, share if you like. Um, comments are welcome. I'll, I'll answer all your comments. Um, yeah, and uh, if you can um, hit that subscribe button, that'll really, ma really make my day. I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Until my next video, stay safe, take care. Bye-bye. Ciao.